Welcome to AmAway's Art Together Tuesday. Artists in our She Persisted exhibition had to overcome adversity to achieve their goals. Many of these women had the benefit of mentors or acted as mentors to other women in art. Today we will speak to a few of these artists as well as women from our community about how we can support each other as we work towards our goals together. Well, the, the, that was one of the things when we started the Women's Caucus for Art was the fact that we were 20 women. Um, we would have uh, critiques, look at each other, what each other were doing. We weren't there to negatively critique the piece, but to encourage and find out what each of us was doing and then to show together. and. And that was de a definite thing. I don't know that it's necessarily needed today. Um, I think there's a lot of women who are making their way in art with no problem. I don't think they have the ne negative stereotype anymore. But it's, it's never not necessary to mentor somebody who might need a little push on how are they going to get into things. But everything's changing. I mean, in my day, it was to be in a gallery. I don't think that's necessary today. I mean, if you can sell yourself on social media, work your way through the art world that way, have exhibits, then that's another way to do it. And you don't necessarily need somebody else to help you sell your work. You know, I believe that um, society um, has taught us all different kinds of tools and given us different experiences. And, and I'm in a, the weird generation, right? My parents um, would be 90, they're both deceased. My mother's a very strong woman. Um, my parents were married for 35 years. Uh, my dad thought he was in charge, but my mother really was. Um, in that setting, as I grew up, they were more than 40 years older than me. Um, and she would always tell me, you need to get your education. You never know what's going to happen. And, and although she always stood in my dad's shadow, that was where she chose to stand. She was completely sure of her decisions and, and had a beautiful way of dealing with that gracious and, and just a lovely person. And taught me something different, um, although she didn't actually practice that herself. Um, and I think what I learned in this journey that I've been on is that um, we are equals to men, um, not at the exclusion of men and not better than men, but that it's really important to, when I say assert yourself, it's important that you know your worth. And if you know your worth, it is imperative that you stand in the light and that you, by setting an example, other people who are maybe unsure of their worth will be able to bring themselves into the light as well. That the, the best thing we can do is to be an example. You know, it's it's not so much what we say, because we, you know, I can, you know, spit out all kind of uh, quotes and things and that sound really good, but it's what I do. You know, it's it's the the work. When it, like when I see the work of other women who who persisted and kept going, and their work inspire me, and and I'm thinking, wow, that's you know, I'm, that's so wonderful. And so that's what I want to do. You know, I want people to look at my work and say, oh, wow, I, I can, you know, I can get, I can, this inspires me. This makes me want to keep going. And you can only get there by continuing to explore to the next level. And, and that's what I want to do. It's, it's weird. Be kind, but stop being kind. If that makes any sense at all. Be kind to each other. Cut each other some slack. Quit talking about each other behind your back. If you have a question, uh, an argument, whatever, be real. Like, get uncomfortable. Be uncomfortable so that we can all grow together. Um, but be kind. Like, quit being... Someone else doesn't have to fail for me to rise. I stole that from someone else. I don't know who, who said it, but but that's the thing, and um, it makes me so sad to see uh, other women putting each other down. We don't have to to rise on other people's failures. Um, so be kind, but then you know, quit being so nice. Sit down and have an authentic, uncomfortable conversation. Uh, no one grows, again, stealing from someone else. No one grows in the 
uncom the uh, comfort, you know, the comfort of their perfect circle and their perfect friends and all that. Get outside. Get outside of that. Get really uncomfortable and grow. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's always just about support. Like women are not, you know, I also think like support each other and like everybody, but at the same time, like, I don't know, just having that, um, it's okay to dislike something and also kind of, you know, critique each other, but at the same time, you know, oh, it's just so crazy in the art world where it's all just competition, <laughs> you know, and all of that competition is like, oh, well, someone may get entered in that competition or because of that, you know, their pieces are going to show, but I think it's really just about not necessarily letting that competitive aspect of the art community, like, make us all, like, kind of butt heads or, you know, disagree or whatever it may be. What can we do to like, kind of just, like, learn from each other, especially kind of when it comes to techniques, especially, you know? Mm -hmm women in themselves, you know, they have a tendency just to do crafts or you know, not just women, but you used to have those quilt circles or those, you know, mm -hmm. get those, and then that became like a whole, like another kind of um, type of art piece on itself. You know? yeah. Sometimes you just miss out on some of those aspects when you're competing yeah. with each other for that, you know, one spot or whatever it may be. I think that it's important for women to uplift other women by, first of all, praying for them, by supporting them, by acknowledging that they exist, by being vulnerable and allowing yourself to truly open up to one another. I think that it's important that we are accountable to one another, that we encourage one another, and most importantly, that we show up for one another. When you show up for someone else, it has the power to change their entire day, to change how they look at other people, to change how they feel loved. Um, I would love to see us as a female business owner, a uh, woman in the community, that we, we as, a, as a female community come together and, and continue to support each other because it, it's very hard to be out there on your own. Um, and one of the ways to lift yourself up is to turn around and lift someone else up with you and to look up who's made it up there and to reach your hand up for help, to know when to ask and to know when to, to give. Mm -hmm.